am considering taking Tesla private at $420. The stock pops 8%. Keith, the stock pops a lot when Elon Musk says he has the money to do things. Does he? Can we believe him? Well, it, it's hard to know, Vani, but it is certainly a bombshell. And uh, that $420 a share would translate to $72 billion. That's a lot of money, a lot of backing that he would need to do that. Uh, but, uh, you know, you should never uh, underestimate Elon Musk. So, Keith, what would it take for Tesla to go private at this juncture? Yeah, well, it would be the $72 billion, which is uh, an awful lot of money. Uh, but, um, you know, he's pulled rabbits out of hats before. It did seem like he was trying to counter the FT report about the Saudi uh, inv investment in Tesla. You know, sentiment has really changed on Tesla over the past week since earnings. They had kind of better news on, on their cash burn and better news on the Model 3 production. And since then, uh, uh, investors have uh, really warmed up to, to Tesla again. Why would he take it public at $420 a share, Keith? Is that the premium that shareholders would want? Well, it's, it's hard to know just yet, but I mean, he would like to take it private so he doesn't have to deal with all these pesky shorts that have always uh, uh, annoyed him. He doesn't like all the critics out there, and if he could do this as a private company, I think he would prefer to operate that way. Given what you're saying, does that make sense then for Elon Musk at this point? Is this something that could really happen? Well, it's a lot of money. If he could, if he could pull it off, uh, it would uh, it would change the dynamic of how he operates and change the dyna dynamic of how the company operates. There would be far less scrutiny on things like weekly uh, factory production, which there's a great deal of scrutiny on right now. Keith Michael Dell famously took his company private. A lot of people thought he was, well ambitious to say the least and uh, there was a lot of inquiry as to how he would actually do it. He managed to find a way, financial engineering or no. Could Elon Musk find a way? It, it seems possible. You always have these cases. Michael Dell's a good one of these kind of brilliant founders who feel like they lose control of their companies when they go public and they want to take them back to their roots, take them private again so they can make the moves they see necessary that Wall, not, Wall Street might not always appreciate. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Tesla's performance because they seem to be doing better at the last quarter. Guidance looked pretty okay. Yeah, so the, the, this latest earnings report was better than expected, particularly in the area of cash burn that was better than expected. There was this, there, there was this anticipation that Elon Musk would have to raise more money just to keep the lights on. Um, that has lessened after last week's report. He also, within his conference call, showed a little more statesmanship, a little more maturity. You might recall in his previous conference call three months earlier, he was snapping at analysts. This time around, he was actually apologizing to them for the tone he had taken. He's gotten a lot of bounce from that. Adam Jonas, the Morgan Stanley analyst, has a report out talking about just that attitude he took and approach he took has increased Tesla's stock a great deal. And Jonas has been an analyst that's been a bull and a bear on this company, and, and he likes what he sees from Elon Musk right now. You say that this might be on the back of the Saudi report or the FT report that the Saudis had built a $2 billion stake, a 3 to 5% stake. Of course, we know 5% is the point at which you could be activist and make a difference. Curious as to whether there might be more than a coincidence here. Is there any possibility that Elon Musk could do a deal with the Saudis and that they take the company private together? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know about that. Um, but, you know, Elon Musk likes to have control over his companies. And if there's reports out there that, you know, someone else is taking a stake that would give them a, a greater voice in uh, how the company is run, uh, Elon would, would want to react to that. So there could be some linkage between the two, but we don't know. How would this uh, affect Tesla's big ambitions? Because we know that they are planning to expand in China. They're trying to open a plant in Shanghai. Well, that's exactly right. And those are all very expensive activities, very capital intensive. So at a time when they need billions to open new factories and expand the model line, uh, you know, to also try and raise money just to take the company private, that's a lot uh, to take on. And it's, it's, um, it would be a great, great challenge.